It's Paula Cole, Kink Live at the Bing Lounge. The new CD is Ithaca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, it's a question everyone asks, but it's what everyone wants to know. So I'll ask too. You've been kind of out of the spotlight lately. Uh, where have you been? What you been up to? And uh, what have you learned, Dorothy? <laughs> Dorothy? <laughs> so Dorothy's my middle it? name, so that catches me off. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Dorothy. That's what my grandmother used to call me. Paula Dorothy. Um, I've been, oh, yeah, I've, this is the, the thing that I'm, I keep processing with everybody. So, right, we had big hits in the 90s, and that was wonderful, and that was a, a, a strange, amazing ride. And um, I put out another album after that in 99 called Amen, um, which I was proud of, and it had more of my soul influences in it. And it kind of, you know, <laughs> was a disappointing commercial success, but or non-success, it was a non-success. But I, it ch I chalk it up there with all my best work, I'm really proud of it. And I'm true to myself to a fault. And, uh, and then after that, I needed a break. I think I, you know, I knew that it's unhealthy for any of us to do one thing all the time. We are comprised of a psyche that needs various forms of expression, like to be over specialists just leads to midlife crisis and I think I was having one early. And I also um, went about things backwards. I, I got pregnant and then got married after the fact. And I, my daughter had asthma that was crippling. And I couldn't work. I had to take care of her. And, uh, and then I had to get out of the marriage. And this all takes time. <laughs> it's about eight years, right? Right. Eight years for that, about, yeah. And I came back with an album called Courage because courage was my mantra, like to get out, get out and get singing again because singing is like this healing force that I need to do. Uh, and in finding my voice, I literally was finding my voice, my, my opinions, my backbone. And um, so I came out with courage, but I, I couldn't work it too much because I was stuck in divorce court and I'm, I'm and here I am again, and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, you know, the music business is drastically different. I'm different. I'm in my 40s now. I'm, I'm happy with who I am and the choices I've made. I've been honest, and I've tried really hard, and I've, I, and so here I am, and I'm, I'm just trying, and <laughs> it's a different landscape. The audiences are more humble, but they're the ones that really care, and... Uh, I'm just happy to, that there's anyone at all, and I'm happy for your support. <laughs> well, there's a lot of us. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I think your voice sounds better than ever. I mean, am I, am I way <laughs> off base here? Or? Thank you. Well, congratulations I, it's on like the new wine. CD. It opens, you know. Yes. Uh, you've called your new CD uh, your art baby, you know, out in the world. Uh, mm. So how's the kid doing? Uh, integrating with peer group? Uh, plays well with <laughs> others? Oh, <laughs> the music. <laughs> right. Um, it's such a, a metaphor. Mom. Right. So the music, I, I don't know yet. I, I'm so, I'm kind of cautious with my heart. You know, it's scary to trust and why to go out. And um, It's, it's, uh, I have niche loving audiences is what it is and and I tour the country and I play to my audiences and I just hope that the country is musically literate enough to listen, you know, not what's cool and not like subscribe to the newest belly button but <laughs> you know, although I did that, but I <laughs> I had the music to back it up, I think and I I don't know, I just I don't know how the baby's doing. I, I don't know. I'm, you got me on that. I'm insecure. Well, it is pretty new. Well, let it, well, see how, well, just let it grow. It's new. Let it's it, all let new. It and I don't want to you know, hang too many expectations or dreams on it. Like, I'm just going to do this because I need to and it makes me happy. So if record companies go out of business, which seems likely at this point, mm -hmm. I'll still do this because I must. So... The business itself helps us come, you know, to Portland and be visible. But 
maybe I'll just sell directly to iTunes or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll be making music it, no matter it'll what. It'll find its way <laughs> into our into our stereos. Well, you know, your song, I Don't Want to Wait, became the, the theme for the hit TV show Dawson's Creek. And that's how a lot of people got to know you. Uh, and I'm wondering, was that sort of a blessing and curse kind of thing? I mean, so it was recognition, but on the other hand, kind of pigeonholed. Mm. I don't know. Yes, I go through all of those cycles of thought. Um, but it is, it just is. And I, I'm 42, so I just accept, I, I'm learning to accept things instead of going around like with my monkey mind, <laughs> right? So yeah, it, uh, who would have thunk? It, I Don't Want to Wait already was a number one song on a few different radio formats. But this writer, Kevin Williamson, was a fan and wanted to use that song for his new show, Dawson's Creek. And who would have known it would have usurped my career <laughs> and, and it did and then I took my break and it was still playing and I thank God for that because it supported me in years that I was taking care of my daughter you know and I couldn't work that so was the, bl the blessing part yeah uh, uh, so it, you know I'm just it is I let go any songs on your new album that you think well this could be the theme for a TV show make me an offer boys <laughs> oh no do I think of that no, well, maybe no. that's not your job, but maybe somebody <laughs> will. No, I don't think that way. I, especially now that, um, I don't know, I feel more entitled to my opinions. That's one good thing about getting older, and I take less shit, you know, so I... <laughs> Sounds um, about right, yeah. So I'm going to write s songs that I th think are great and creative, and, and yes, I do love pop music. I love crafting. I think there's an art to crafting a pop gem that's palatable and short enough. But I also listen to West African music and Maria Callas and, uh, and all those things come through. So I'm, I'm not thinking about writing for TV at all, no. Oh. I'd probably rather go back and to school before I, and do something else before I thought like that, honestly. Well, stick with music <laughs> while you're going to school, please. Let's hear some more. It's Paula Cole, Kink Live at the Bing Lounge. <laughs> 